Which of the following would be expected to lead to the shift in the curve above? This is an oxyhemoglobin saturation curve, and we're being asked about a right shift. I'm going to show you guys a very, very easy way to remember what causes the different shifts in the curve. So this is our normal curve, and if we're talking about a right shift, remember right equals raised, okay? Everything's going to be raised or elevated, right? So CO2 is going to be elevated, temperature is elevated, okay? 2,3 BPG is elevated, and hydrogen ion concentration is elevated. Now, disclaimer here is that high concentration of H plus is a low pH. So that's like the little kind of weird thing about this. Don't get that mixed up. But everything is raised, as you can see, right? Aside from the pH. Now, the opposite of it, right, will just be a left shift. A left shift equals lower. So everything will be lower, right? Like low CO2, low temperature, low everything else, right? It's going to be the opposite. So I'll explain the causes of all these, like why does increase CO2 equal a right shift in a separate video. But the basic idea is that a rightward shift means that oxygen affinity in hemoglobin, right, is just decreased. This means that oxygen is being released to tissues more. If we had a left shift, that means that the affinity for oxygen would be higher. And so oxygen would not be delivered to tissues that well. Okay, that's like a general idea of this. And now when we're looking at our questions asking about a right shift. So we want everything to be raised. And the one that matches that is choice B.